It's the Zenith ADR Boar Hair Shaving Brush. We're going to build a lather with it, and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's MarkWithGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I really appreciate you joining me for this shave. We've got a brand new shaving brush in the shave den before we get to that. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, viewer Mark Bagwell informed us of how great the Zenith Boar Hair Shaving Brushes are. He very kindly sent this one along. This is the Zenith ADR Boar Hair Shaving Brush. It uses top hair, top boar hair, to make this shaving knots, and it makes a complete difference, especially for the break-in period. This is going to be my third use of the shaving brush. I uh, cleaned it and gave it kind of a... Um, uh, a kind of just a cleaning and a little bit of a lathering test, uh, and then I let it dry, and then I used it for a uh, a shave, and really just let this knot build that nice lather. And uh, now this is going to be the third use. And look, just from those two uses, the cleaning and also the uh, lathering of the shave, look how this knot is already almost completely broken in. So. Uh, we're going to have another shave with it. This will be the third use, the second shave, and it is ready to go. Uh, and it is an absolutely beautiful boar hair brush using the top boar hair. And it is absolutely fantastic at a beautiful price point. My sincere thanks to Mark Bagwell for sending this along. This really is a fantastic boar hair shaving brush. We're going to put this into uh, the warm water and let that let that uh, soak and kind of get going. Uh, my shave soap is going to be Shave Chaser from Phoenix Shaving. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Love, love this scent. Fantastic. Uh, we're also going to kick it off with the Cube 2.0. My razor is going to be the Blackland Era. Uh, boy, I love this razor a lot. We're going to be using the number four plate, which has just proven to be so much more efficient delivering a much closer shave after, say, two passes than the number three plate. This is the straight bar plate right there, as you can see. Uh, really terrific. But the razor blade we're going to use is the Persona double-edged razor blade, the ones that are made in the United States of America. These come in the white wrapper. These were very, very uh, kindly sent uh, to the channel by Jimmy V Photography. Jimmy, thank you very, very much for these because this is the blade that comes with the Blackland Era razor. This is the blade that they recommend uh, for this particular razor. And we're going to go ahead and install one of those blades right there. Although we do have a washer right there, a buffering. I'm going to make, be careful not to lose that. But here is a blade. I've already removed the blade from the box there. Here, I'll just show you real quickly. That's what they. That's what they are. You got a bunch of. Uh, blades right there in white wrappers. Okay, so we have those right there and here is one that I took out of the box already and We're going to go ahead and open this up and you'll see and while we're loading the blade that brush will be soaking up nicely Yeah, persona and you can see right here. Let me just rock it back and forth here so you can see them in the lighting Persona these are made in the United States and boy they are terrific this is one. Of, this is a. This is the same blade that I used early on in my wet shaving, uh, wet shaving journey. Really turned things around uh, for me when I installed it in a Vikings blade chieftain. Uh, really delivered a beautiful, close, comfortable shave. Very, very smooth. So we're going to go ahead and just place that right there, like that. Okay. And I've got the, uh, the number four base plate right here. Make sure that's the number four plate. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Level four, okay, can you see that? Level four, all right, we're going to put that 
on there like that. End tabs are enclosed. Here is the buffering that's going to go on there like that. Beautiful. The handle. Of course, this is a uh, this is a 3D printed uh, razor, which is also CNC machined. So it is absolutely beautifully and precisely made. Okay, there is the uh, blade balance and alignment spot on. And as I say, the end tabs are enclosed in the razor head. You can barely, barely, barely feel them. But for all practical purposes, they are uh, enclosed in the razor head. And it is stainless steel. Absolutely beautiful. 3D printed, CNC machined. Really, really terrific, terrific razor. Uh, we also have my brush scuttle here. It'll keep everything nice and warm. Let's see if we get, uh, let's see if we're going to, first of all, I got two days worth of beard growth. Let me back up here. I got two days worth of beard growth here. So I wanted, I, I waited an extra day to show you the performance of the brush and how, what a wonderful lather it will build. And I'm going to be doing a face lather so you can see all that on camera. Uh, but I, what I was going to say is, um, we're going to see how uh, efficient this is, first of all, with this blade, and see if we're going to be able to do the shave in, say, two passes or three passes. And if we do three, a third pass or a touch-up, let's see how much lather we have on the knot, because uh, for me, my personal experience with a, a boar hair shaving brush and a lot of other wet shavers is that it's pretty good for two lathering passes, but that third pass, you might have to go back into the puck to get that little additional little additional extra shave soap loaded on there to get that third lathering. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. We're going to go ahead and just take this hot water that's been on the puck here and just put it in there like, like that. Formula CK6. Let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. Okay, Cube 2.0 right here. Oh, yeah. Boy, I am really looking forward to this shave. I really don't like to skip a day. I like to shave every day. However, for something like this, I'll go ahead and skip the day just to show you the performance of a certain piece of shaving gear, like a razor or a brush, that sort of thing. Okay, let's rinse. All right, so let's go ahead and apply the cube again for my pre -ba my pre shave base, so to speak. Really like to work that in there. Okay. Oh, all right. Now we're all set to go. Now here's my brush right here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and just get a little bit of water out of there. And we're going to go ahead and load this brush. And it's already softened up wonderfully. So here we go. Okay, get a little bit, just a little more water on there. Just a little more. Gonna load this up. All right, that should, that should have it. Here we go. Look at that. Look how that brush splays open so easily for a face lather. And it is so beautifully, beautifully soft. Wow. We get a little bit of water here. Just dip that in there a little bit. My gosh, this the the handle is very nice. It fits in the hand very nicely. It's a basic handle, but it seems to be a good size, a nice size is what I mean. And it is developing a really Nice lather. Look at that. Get a little more, just a little more water here. Now, I, again, two days worth of beard growth. And look what kind of coverage I have there. I mean, boom, lather. Look at 
at that. I mean, you don't see any whisker protruding, anything like that. I am just developed. It, the brush has just uh, given me a a nice, rich, creamy, thick lather. Of course, CK6 and the Cube 2.0 definitely help. But look, look at how this brush has worked. It looks like I have plenty on the knot right there. It's going to go right into the the brush scuttle there, and we're going to go ahead and heat this up with some hot, 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 hot water. <laughs> Let me move my blades out of the way here so they don't get wet because I tend to really splash a little bit. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, is that nice. This blade, this razor head, wow, is that smooth. Smooth and efficient. That's, that's marvelous. That's really, really terrific. Now, I used a different uh, blade when I re first reviewed this. I should have used the Persona blade. Or did I use the Persona blade? You know what? I can't remember. Oh, this blade and this razor absolutely they just sing together so well and the nice thing is is that this has a really slim profile razor head so there should be no problem at all getting up underneath the nostrils here on the with the grain pass north to south That's marvelous. That is absolutely marvelous. First pass done. Let's rinse. Yeah, that's nice. It did a really nice job. Probably got about a good, I would say, 85 to 90 percent there. Really, really terrific. I'm probably right there, I would say, on the cusp of being socially acceptable because two days worth of beard growth. Uh, one day's worth of beard growth, I, <laughs> I tell you, um, I would be socially acceptable, probably could even run out the door, no problem, probably in darn fine shave territory, but because I had two days worth of beard growth, boy, that still did a nice job. And the key here is this brush and the lather that it gave me, and look at this. We're going to add a little bit of water to the brush here again, and look how the lather comes back. And how I'm able to just, I mean, I've got so much lather off, a little bit just flew off and hit my elm block here. <laughs> I'm going to have to wipe it off there a little bit. I mean, we've got a lot of lather on this knot. This bore brush is wonderful. And look, enough lather for a second lathering pass back into the brush scuttle. Nice and warm on the knot, and the uh, and the lather is nice and warm. Here we go. I'm going to wipe my hands off here because uh, lots of lather here, lots of slickness. All right, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain.
All right, boy, that's, that's really a beautiful second shave pass here. No tugging or pulling at all on the upper lip. Wow, that's marvelous. All right, second pass done, let's rinse. Now pass number two is usually my money pass and I gotta tell you folks, the shave is done. <laughs> I'm telling you, the shave is done. Wow. But, but, this is more about the brush than it is about the razor. However, boy, <laughs> Jimmy, thanks for those blades. But really, this is my, this is about the brush. So let's see if we can get a third lathering pass. One minute, just want to get that on my eye. Let's see if we can get a third, a third, generate a third lather here uh, from uh, just the knot that we have here like this. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. You know what? That, that doesn't always happen with boar brushes for me. It real I mean really. Look. Uh, you know, I probably could use some touch up rather than a third pass. But maybe a little touch up here, a little bit here. But really, let's just do a quick third pass and look. I didn't have to go back in the puck. Look how wonderful this brush is. Again, CK6 in the Shave Soap and in the Cube 2.0 really, really help to generate that lather. But this bore brush, this is you know, usually with an Omega brush and a Samoke brush, I'm going back into the puck. Uh, sometimes with Omega, once in a blue moon, I can get that third lathering pass, but this one I think is going to be more consistent. Uh, you know what? We'll see. And the soap, the soap also comes into play as well. So it'll be interesting to see how it uh, performs with the Sterling and uh, Le Père Lucien, which I really like. Sudsy Soap Ray, uh, Heritage Hill, some of these other soaps. Okay, we're going to go with pass number three. We're going to go south and north against the grain. I'm going to have a little bit of a little bit of nick coming through. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe. We'll see. I did not feel anything. That is probably ever, ever so slight. I did not feel that at all. All right. That's okay. Should close up with some cold water and an alum block right there. Just, a, just not even, I mean, it's not even a nick. It's just like a little micro nick of some kind. All right, third pass done. Let's rinse. Yeah, boy, that's nice. And that guy is so inconsequential. I think that'll seal right up with some cold water. Let's do my two final rinses. One warm, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Yeah, a lot of slickness there that I had to rinse off. I think it's going to close right up with cold water. Here's my, uh, just letting it get cold. Here's my cold water rinse.
Okay, I threw some extra cold water in that area there, just to be on the safe side. All right, clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. What a shave. What a beautiful shave. Very, very smooth. Again, I didn't feel that at all. And it's very, very small. So, my gosh, what a wonderful shave. Beautiful shave. I don't see it. Eh, I, see, I see a little bit of it right there, but we'll go ahead and use an Allen block. That should take care of it. And if it, uh, if it doesn't, then we'll pull out the snippet pencil. But I think the Allen block will take care of it. Oh, might be able to use a, a new method that viewers told me of uh, using an Allen block. So that'll be that'll be fun to use. So here's my Allen block, and you can see where the <laughs> the lather hit it there. Yeah, it just the brush just generated a lot of lather. It just flew off the knot. Wow, just exploded right off the knot. Nice, very very nice. Of course, that's CK6. It does explode off the off the brush now. So we're going to run this under some cold water and let's see if we get any sting or zinging. I'm expecting a little bit of a zing right there. You can see it right there. See it? Okay. Here we go. It's smooth. I mean, I've got a few zings. Nothing on the upper lip, and, and this is very minor. I mean, I don't even feel that as a zing, really. I have a couple of zings on the uh, couple of zings on the neck here, right here, that are more pronounced than this guy right here. But that tells me I got a really nice close shave with this razor. Probably, as I say, done after two passes. Probably didn't need the third pass. However, wanted to show you how much lather the brush generates, and uh, it really did a great job. So here is the dry dock system. Here's the yellow block. I'm going to put it in there like that. Let the air in the room do the rest of the job. All right. The whole purpose of this is to show you how this brush performed. Let's see what kind of lather we're still able to get out of the knot. Look at that. We still have enough right here. Look at the peak there. Yeah, we still have enough for a touch up if we need it. Wow, this was really surprising. I'm surprised. I really, really am surprised. Very, very surprised that it did that great of a job. Now, I didn't have to use that new technique with the Allen block because that closed right up. I was going to, if it wasn't going to close up, I was going to hold it against the, um, against the skin against that little nick there for about 15 seconds to see if that would help. But it uh, it closed right up. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to clean the brush and show you what it looks like after I give it a nice rinse out of warm water and move some of the lather out of the knot. Okay, so here we go. Just moving it like that. Okay, that's got it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and you can see the ladders out of there. And you can see how that's just breaking in. It's amazing how quickly this brush broke in for me. I mean, I, uh, you don't have to use that cold water three-day method with this brush. Just, it's just fabulous. This is, and it's, it's, it's even, it's even splitting. The hairs are splitting even more from this third shave. This is going to be uh, my go-to hair, uh, bore hairbrush. Bore hairbrush. <laughs> my go-to bore shaving brush. Why would I say hair? I have no hair. <laughs> All right, look, 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 look. Look, look at that. Look, that's, look at that. That's even more, that's more than what I started out with. I mean, look at that. It just, that's fantastic. What a fantastic, fantastic shaving brush. Absolutely marvelous. All right, let's finish this shave off with a little bit of uh, Shave Chaser. Here, right here. Shave Chaser After Shave and Cologne from Phoenix Shaving. Great scent. This shave soap and this aftershave, just an absolutely 
uh, Shave Chaser. Of course, you know, base an homage to Skin Bracer. If you love Skin Bracer, you got to get this. This is everything a Skin Bracer should be nowadays. Really, this is based on the classic Skin Bracer. As I understand it. That's marvelous. That is really, really good. Get this. This stuff is, you know, skin bracer, uh, shave chaser, <laughs> shave chaser. This is great. This is really, really good stuff. And I said I was going to use every man jack a little bit for upstairs because this is unscented. And if I want to, I could, uh, I could put a little bit of shave chaser up there if I want to. I think we'll just leave it as is right now. Uh, the, uh, the shave chaser on the face is really kicking in. Yeah. Great, great shave. Wow, what an absolutely awesome boar hair shaving brush. The Zenith ADR. My thanks to Mark Bagwell for very kindly sending this to the channel. Thank you so much, Mark. It's an absolutely fantastic, fantastic shaving brush. It was a wonderful shave. My thanks to uh, Jimmy B for sending along the Persona razor blades. These blades are fantastic. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. I'm not going to count that little guy because it's already sealed up. You can barely see it there. Didn't even feel it. And I think that is um, credit to CK6 and the, uh, the shave soap in the cube, the shave chaser shave soap in the CK6. Absolutely wonderful. Gave me some beautiful, beautiful protection. But... Also, credit this shaving brush for building, generating a creamy, thick, wonderful uh, lather that provided a lot of protection. Perhaps, perhaps, any other shaving brush, any other shave soap, maybe, maybe would have resulted in something uh, a little more serious there. But boy, this was, ah, this was great. This was an absolutely great shave. The Zenith ADR. Boar Hair Shaving Brush, my thanks to Mark Bagwell and my thanks to Jimmy V for the Persona Razor Blades. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out all the great artisan soap makers that you see displayed on the bottom of your screen. My gestures are off this time around. Check out all these great artisan soap makers and uh, shave, uh, shaving gear sellers that you see on the bottom of the screen. They make some great, great shaving soaps and they offer some wonderful, wonderful shaving gear for your traditional wet shave. Please give them a look when you get a chance. I really would appreciate it. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Marksarady where you'll find all the products I review in this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.